You're probably thinking to yourself, wow, Dylan looks like crap today. Don't worry, I'm thinking it too. Hey guys, welcome to something a little bit different. This is Notruff112, and that butchered pronunciation roughly translates to Emergency112, and the text below it is the firefighter simulation, essentially. It's German. It's a German firefighter simulator. And I picked it up on Steam after someone suggested it over on my Discord server like a week or two ago. And I figured, why not? Why not make a video out of it? Because it looks like it's either going to be a really in-depth simulation, or it's going to be really, really, really bad. Spoiler. It's, it's, it's not very good. Hello and welcome to Emergency Call 112, the firefighting simulation. Complete numerous tasks in the daily routine of a professional fire service. In the open game world, you will experience a variety of missions both day and night. You can change between all of the emergency crew members' experiences, experience, my bad, the challenges from a wide range of perspectives. You can familiarize yourself with the vehicles in the training ground, and practice the most important movements because the next emergency call will not be far away. Hold down tab to see which vehicle you are allocated to and have fun. So I'm assuming that exercise place is training and then okay is okay. So here we are in Notruf 112. This is, uh, this is, this is how it begins. And, uh, you might see my, um, mouse sort of fly around a little bit. It doesn't lock to the game window properly. But that's okay, because I I didn't I didn't how much was this game? This game was like how much is this game? £26.99! Okay, well I'm expecting some pretty high quality from this. Out of nowhere, we have a car fire. You can tell it's a car fire because there's a little bit of text here that says car fire. And we get to pick what our role is going to be. So we can say that the AI is going to be full, core, or basic. I don't know what that means. I think full is most likely the AI will do everything it needs to do. Core will do the core things. And then basic is it will drive there and you have to do everything else. We'll go with full for the time. No, we'll go with full for the time being. Then I get to pick what role I take in the fire engine. So I can be the attack squad leader. I can be the attack squad crew, the water squad leader, the water squad crew, or the guy that drives the truck. I'm going to be the guy that drives the truck. I believe this is me, though. This is my truck. Everyone's waiting for me. Sorry, lads. I just I had a video to commentate. Uh, we'll turn the engine on with M and... Away we go to a car fire. Three will turn on me blue lights. Hold on. Turn on me headlights too. Uh, you have to be safe. Otherwise, we're going to have another car fire on the way there. Uh, we can turn on the uh, blue light from the light mast. Sure, why not? We'll turn on the rear warning lights because I'm driving. We'll turn on the hazard lights because I'm driving. Uh, and then we'll turn on, I guess, the siren. No. Let's do, let's do the electric siren. And also make sure that people are... You know what? I have to be honest, the drivers in this are better at stopping and getting out of the way than the drivers in GTA 5. So, this car is on fire. We're on scene. Hold on, I need to say that we're, um... Dispatch from truck one. We're gonna be 1023 at the scene of that RTC. Sure. Uh, we are on scene. Press that. Turn off the siren because it's really loud. Right. Right, have I got, have I, whoa, have I, how do I turn this off? How do I turn my face off? My, oh, I can put my, why is there an option to put my gloves on and off? What is that about? And why is it L? That's odd, what about P? So P puts on a respirator, O takes me helmet on and off, but that's, none of that's in here. Hey! Don't you fire that at me. Right, I'm missing... Did I just miss everything? Go to hose reel, use hose reel. Wait. Did you guys just do everything while I was, like, trying to figure out how to turn my face off? Well, how do I turn my face off? Oh, it's the button beside one on the keyboard. Okay, well, I'm glad we figured that out. Um, so I... Why do I... So what? You guys are just giving me a sympathy job here to close the gates? Is that, is that all I get to do? And then, oh, I get to return the hose reel as well. All right. 
Well, we'll move this back to here, and it's going to be the most efficient hose reel maneuver you've ever seen. There you go. Right. Now I'm going to drive us back in the most efficient way possible. Because the fire station's right there. The fire station's right there. We could have come through the gate. Most efficient way possible. I did promise it. I did say it would be the most efficient way possible. Can we go in through here? No, we actually have to drive around the front. Okay, so if park me truck, mission report, there was a car fire. Um, the scene was that. The date was the, fifth, was the 5th of September, 2016, 7.56 in the morning. It took four minutes. All right. So, um, 7.56 in the morning. It's very bright outside for 7.56 in the morning. Just like, seriously, just open this for a Look at this. Look how bright it is. It's a, it's a beautiful, clear day wherever we are. Also, let's just make sure that we are ready to respond in station. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, there's a truck fire. Uh, we can be the command vehicle, the water tender, or the fire engine. I'd kind of like to do something, I'm going to be honest. So, let's be the... So, the hose squad crew installs hoses to provide the attack squad firefighting agent supply. Coordinates the provision of mission resources. The leader installs hoses. All right. So can I be the attack squad leader? So I actually get to do something. Let's do this. I have to drive as, I have to ride as a passenger to, oh. I'll tell you one thing, the AI is a lot better at driving than I am. And that, that van off in the distance is really keen. I don't know why it's so keen, it can't do anything. This guy behind us, that's the water truck. So we're, I'm the one that puts out the fire, I think. I think that's my job. I'm the attack squad leader. Attack Squad. That sounds like it could be like a Power Rangers spin-off. Power Rangers Attack Squad, Power Rangers to the rest. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Wait until all personnel have arrived. All personnel can't... Oh, all personnel have... Who are we waiting on? Oh, that guy. What are you? Oh, whatever. Let's start the mission. See what we need to do. I'm waiting instructions. Let's turn my face on. There we go. My face is... You know what? Turn on, put on the respirator. Where's the respirator? Where's the, there's the respirator. All right. So let's open everything up, lads. I don't know, I don't know what needs opened up. Uh, how, how on fire is the truck right now? Is it significantly on fire? It's not even, oh no, eh, eh. It's a little on fire. Why do I get to do nothing but watch? I feel that that's all I get to do here. So you're setting up a hose. You're getting whatever that is and bringing it over here. So what are you doing? You're setting up, you're setting that down. You're getting a hose and connecting it there. Is that the hose I get to firefight with? Lads, I'm wearing an oxygen tank here. If you're not quick, I'm going to suffocate. It's going to run out. Just so, just FYI, what are you doing? So you've got another hose? How many hoses, man? Hold on a minute. You know what? It's a, en enough of this. Give me that, right? Give me that hose, and I'll go deal with this bloody thing myself. Out of my way, all right? Enough of your complicated hoses. This one right here connects to the truck and has water in it already. See? Look, look. The fire's out while you're all in her arm. No, wait, never mind. Hold on, hold on. It's, it's out, it's out, the fire's out, lads. No, 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 it's not, never mind. What are you doing? Hey, what is that? Oh, good lord! What is that? How does, what does he get to do? I get to do nothing. What is the point in this game? Like, it's, it's literally stand around and watch firefighters simulator. What is- oh, you didn't do a very good job, it's still on fire, Fred! Well, would you look at that, me and Fred actually put the fire out, it was mostly me, I was on scene before Fred was. Why does he get to do it and I got to do nothing? It's not fair, man. It's not cool. Can I, uh, I wanna- I wanna put that hose away, right? And then wait for further instructions, alright. Sure. No problem, I'm- wait, why- hold on a minute, if I- 
Oh, uh, I was gonna say why am I bold, but I'm not. I put on the protective stuff with the respirator. A category one fire alarm, huh? All right. Let's take out the Rearmont Ladder, head of Turntable Ladder Squad. Turntable Ladder Driver operates vehicle components while driving and at the scene. Controls the ladder crane via the control console. I want to be the squad leader. If I can. If that'll let me be the one that goes up the ladder, I want to be the squad leader. We're also going to do basic AI in the hopes that that'll let me actually do something this time. Category 1 fire alarm though. That's, that's, uh, that's a building fire. Might be a good thing. I mean that in the nicest way I possibly can, by the way. Just, just hey, don't take, like, I mean that in like a, maybe I'll get to do something kind of way. Not in a, not in a, ha ha, I'm glad your building's in fire. Um, just so we're clear. Can I, can I change to be like the, the, the machine operator so I can actually drive there? Cause I really, I don't want to be the guy that's the passenger. It's literally just on the street. It's right here. Okay. Anyone behind me? Yeah, there's a vehicle behind me. All right. It's a nighttime operation as well. Looks like the store's on fire. Let's get the ladder truck a little bit closer. Oh yeah, no, that store is very much on fire. All right, turn those sirens off. Let's get the uh, the rear blue lights going. Let's get the hazard warning lights going. Let's get the headlights going. Uh, get those hazards back on. There we go. So let's start the mission. What do I need to do? What do, what do I need to do? We're gonna be um, we're on scene. No, we're not on scene. We're we're on scene. There we go. So use the left stabilizer. All right. Left stabilizer's going up. Use the right stabilizer. Right stabilizer being used. What are you doing with this? What are you doing? What's this? See how's that? Can I attach it to this? I might be able to. Wait for further instructions. I don't want to be you. I want to use. I want to be the guy in the crane. I have dibs being the guy in the crane. Oh no, this is interesting. I actually have to switch, I think. Yeah, so I have to switch to F4. This guy needs to go to the distributor. Distributor, that's the one. Uh, so I need to take this and go to position. Where's the position? There's the position, right. So this needs to go here, I think, right? Now we go to the marked area and wait for further instructions. What marked area will we, are we talking about here? Wait for further instructions. All right, so you're doing whatever you're doing. Can I, um, who else needs, so F6, you. What do you need me to do? Light the area up, no problem. Let's get that mast up. Let's turn the light on. Right, the light's on. It's not very bright though. Oh, that's better. All right, so that, now we can see. Now we can see. Um, right, so now I need to do another job. F3, uh, F2. Go to underfloor hydrant spanner. Where? Over here. We're actually getting to put out a fire. We're actually getting to put out a fire. This is pretty neat. Oh, we get to use the crane. We actually got to use the crane. All right, so crane needs to be in position. Needs to be 66 degrees in rotation. So let's do that. We're gonna go for the full 66, 65, 66 degrees rotation. We need to raise it up. So uh, apparently it needs to be minus nine, oh, minus 19 so you can get into it. That makes sense. And then we need to extend the ladder out so it's going to be on the ground so that a firefighter can actually get in to the bucket. That's really neat. All right. So right there, and then we'll switch it out. We need to switch for uh, F1. Go to hollow jet nozzle. Where's the hollow jet nozzle? Right over there. All right. Let's open this up. Grab the hollow jet nozzle. Go to the basket of this thing. Control, oh my god. Oh, look at me with the water. Oh, we're actually doing this. this, is so cool. All right, what is F2 real quick? F4, this guy needs to go to the marked area and await instruction. I don't know where the marked area is. Like, I really don't know where the marked area is for this guy.
I find the spot. I find the spot. Okay. We need to grab this sea hose and we need to attach it to there. And then wait for other instructions. Really? All right. Uh, F2, F3. What are you doing? Go to hollow jet nozzle. All right. Hollow jet nozzle is right around here. So let me uh, pull out that compartment and grab the hollow jet nozzle. And then I'm assuming we take it over to this hose. And I'm assuming this guy is going to help put out the fire. So attach it there. And go to position, extinguish the fire. Right, I'm assuming through the front door of the building. So we can get that and we can get that. Let's go. Doors are open. We're going in. Everybody stand back. I'm a, prof I'm a professional. Uh, that hose is just extending itself quite nicely. Go to position, extinguish the fire. Right. Let's do this. Can we do it with this one? Does this, is, does the, does the fine mist work? Or do we need like the, the proper, the proper thing here to put out the fire? This seems, this seems like it might be working. All right. So aside from spending 15 minutes trying to find the correct spot to stand in, everything's going well. I've put the fire out. I've put the fire out. Look at this nonsense. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get the hose reel back in over here. And, uh, I guess we want to drop the nozzle on the ground. Possibly. Go to sea hose end, which we're, is here. Drop that on the ground. Then go to that. And drop that on the ground. Go to position. What position? What position are we talking about here? Use sea hose carrying basket. All right. So go to sea hose carrying basket and pick it up. Then we want to go put it back in storage. And we just got to put all the equipment away. I feel like that's a lot less fun than I... That's, that's, realistically, that's a lot less fun than, yeah. All right, ladies and gents, the game's bugged out. I can't finish the mission, so we're just going to leave it there. This has been, uh, not, not truth 112, emergency call 112, I think is the translation of that. I have no idea at all, so we'll assume that I'm right. I might not be. But we'll assume that I am, because that's, you know, more fun than uh, immediately assuming I'm wrong. These guys just stood around here. I don't really know why. I think it's because this, uh, this is right here, and we can't do anything with that particular, um, with that particular thing. So, I mean, I could drive this back and leave them. I think. Maybe not. I guess I'm not technically the driver, so no, I can't. Um, that's awkward. That's that's a little awkward that we can't actually finish things. But uh, it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you kind of for watching. I know this has been something a little bit different, but I had fun with it. Hopefully you did too. And as always, it's been my pleasure. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.